This is Kathleen Sullivan. Join Steve Bell and me for up to the minute news of the Beirut. Rick! Hey. Mike's safe at home, man. You can relax. Thank the Lord. I was really worried about him. I know. He's fine. I'll call him. I've got surgery, then I'll see him after that. And thank you again. <laughs> All right. There you are. I'll get this, as usual. Did you know that um, I have a surprise for you? Oh, what is it? You'll see. What are you doing after you leave here? Well, it's such a nice day. I thought I'd take a walk in the park. Well, I don't mind if I do. We can celebrate uh, Mike being all right. And then we can take a little trip over to the uh, television station. You're not going to show that tape on, on there, are you? Why not? Because I asked you not to. Felicia, look. No, Frisco, you look. You're getting in way over your head, and this is too dangerous. Promise me you won't ruin it. I can't promise that. You're going to get yourself killed. Just listen to me, please. Okay. The night of my birthday party, I talked to Tony about Scorpio. He trusts the man. It's obvious. That's, that's all so? he can say. Well, I have got to prove to Tony that Scorpio is just as greedy and exactly the same kind of man Donnelly is. It's not going to be easy for Phil. I know that. Words can't do it. i got to convince him. That's why I have to play the tape. It's so important. I gotta smoke Scorpio into action. If he thinks that we might have jewels or the treasure... He'll come after it. Exactly. And you're setting yourself up as bait, too. Felicia, I know nothing. A scuba diver came into the studio. He had some jewels that he found at the bottom of the Port Charles River in the harbor. Except that we stole it from Sean's safe. Is that still bothering you? Yes, a little. Felicia, we checked it out, right? Yes, but that it... doesn't make it right. All right. How about uh, operating outside of the law? That's what you mean, right? Right. Well, that's what Scorpio was doing. What do you mean? Robert and Anna broke into Donnelly's apartment, too. Isn't that operating outside of the law? Well, I guess so, but... Hmm? I'm just worried about you, Frisco. I mean, the same thing might happen to me that happened to Tony. Yes, I guess it bothers me. Felicia, you've got to understand, baby. I'm trying to do this for all of us, so nobody gets hurt again. Not Tony, not Tanya, not you. Nobody. Can't you understand that? Huh? Yes, I, I do understand. Well, then, quit worrying about me, all right? I can take care of myself. Besides, look. What? Well, come on, check it out. It's a beautiful day. Who wants to argue on a beautiful day like this? Do you? You're right. This is a beautiful day. Stay right there. What is it? This is going to go lovely with your dress. <clears throat> Grew this myself. That was a perfect right there. This bud of love, by summer's ripening breath. That's nice. You make that up? No, no, it's um, from Romeo and Juliet. You know, I sort of feel a little like Romeo right now. Do you? You look sexier than Juliet can ever think of looking. I could really grow to hate Frisbees. Oh, I know. <clears throat> well, um, I gotta get to the studio. All right. 
I hope no one wants to do so today, especially Son or Robert. Come on. Josh. Yeah, well, that's what you wanted? Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, okay, look, all these phones are tied to the switchboard, okay? Mm -hmm. The minute the calls start coming in after you roll tapes, they'll be transferred here. Good, good. I wish you'd change your mind. Look, um, I gotta go check the switchboard. I'll be right there. Right. Felicia, I have got to run this tape. There's still time to replace it with a repeat or something. I don't want to replace it. Now, will you please stop worrying? I can take care of myself, all right? Oh, but why run the risk? There are police out there ready to catch people like that. You don't have to get involved. That's why you are so wrong. The people at the top can't be trusted, Felicia. Don't you understand that? Scorpio, Donnelly, all of them, the whole establishment, they're pushing people around, and it's time somebody showed them they can't get by with it. There's nothing that will make you change your mind. Nothing. You want some coffee? No, I don't want it. Okay, man, you're ready. Everything check out? Yeah, Frisco. What? Listen, I I'm a little worried. Josh, don't do this to me. We're running the tape, that's it. Yeah, I know that, but I I'm worried about afterwards. What about afterwards? Scorpio grows me, man. I'll break. I know I will. Josh, will you listen to yourself? What is with the melodrama, huh? You sound like a bad B movie. Look, what if he starts questioning you? Then you sit back and you let me handle everything. You back up everything that I say. You got that? I'll take care of it. Now, did you tell the people I told you to tell? Yeah, sure I did. I, I made an anonymous phone call to the police station. I went by Kelly's and made sure everybody'd watch. All right. Who's there? Jimmy Lee and Ruby. Great. That means Scorpio and Donnelly are sure to watch. Just trust me. Trust me. Will you? Anybody see you? No, nobody saw me. How do you know? I was alone in the elevator. That's how I know. What about the security guard downstairs? I don't know, Sean. What can I tell Damn you? Damn it, nobody gets by that security guard. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe he went to the John or something, but nobody saw me come in. Would you tell me anything? Why can't you obey orders? I can explain. No, you can't explain. I gave you an order. I spelled it out for you. You're supposed to stay away from me, miles away from me. And you're never, never supposed to come here. I know that. If you know that, then why are you here? This couldn't wait. You couldn't wait? Then spit it out. It has to do with Frisco Jones. Go on. We are in big trouble. General Hospital will continue in a moment. Nothing concerning Frisco Jones is important enough to bring you here. And I told you never to come here under any circumstances. <sighs> Hold The entire day, doing what you told me to do, I've been following Frisco and Felicia all over town. Go on. When I got close enough to hear what they were Wait saying... Wait a minute, just hold it right what? there. What? You say you got close enough? Are you trying to tell me that Frisco and Felicia saw you? Give me some credit for having some brains, will you please? All right. Since I'm just gun-shy after it's later, he's, uh, gets sloppy. We got too zealous and made lots of mistakes. Well, I am not Slater. Now, as I said, I got close enough to hear what they were saying, and, and she was obviously very upset about something. 
About what? About something that's happening on his show today, something special on his television show. Said in what way? The way I got it, she's worried about him. And then she said she was hoping that nobody would be watching the show today, especially Don Lee and Scorpio. You sure? She mentioned us specifically? Definitely. Interesting. This show's on in a little while. Now, I'm sorry I had to come here today, but obviously it's important. Uh, we'll see how important when we turn on the TV. Look, I have to use my own instincts here. I felt that this was something you had to hear immediately. Yeah, you used your instincts, but that doesn't give you the right to pop in here any time that you get wind of something. Slater really burned you, didn't he? Man almost destroyed me. From here on out, this whole thing is just a salvage operation, and I have to walk a very narrow path, Prescott. I can't afford any more slip-ups. Relax. Nothing was lost by my coming here. I wouldn't lie to you. Nobody saw me. Yeah, all right, don't let it happen again. You understand why we must never be connected, right? I understand. If we ever were linked together, our whole setup could be blown. And you could go to jail, or worse. It won't happen again. All right. Turn on TV. See what Frisco has in store for me. All right, we got...